Hey y'all, APT Jamie here, and today we've got a video. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a video. It's card lottery video. Vid video, and um, we are making a background using gelatos and a dampish baby wipe. This particular package of baby wipes is actually getting a little dry, y'all. So uh, anyway, I started off with, I think it was buttercream. Oh, there's a list of ingredients in the description box below, in case you're curious. Sorry about the little blurriage going on, off and on, because I forgot to take the autofocus on. Off? Forgot to take the autofocus off. It was on. So anywho, we're just smooshing around and, uh, because I was trying to get a varied background and um, in the end it didn't matter. I could have just painted the whole silly thing yellow and it, and it wouldn't have mattered. Why did I go with yellow? It's just a bright hot color y'all. It's hot time. Hot time in the city or the urban areas or the country depending on your location. So there we are and that was a lemon. Mm-hmm. Not sure if you can see where it's kind of buried. And this is, uh, I think it's guava. Guava, guava, y'all. And, um, yeah. We've already seen the uh, end results. I'm making tags. And um, I think I said it, what would I call this one? Pause. Time to pause. Pause to time something. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I better pause and pause my voice over and check my title. Hang on, y'all. Okay. It is time to pause. Tag. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bless my heart, y'all. So now that that's all dry, you saw he can, he can probably maybe. Uh, I'm smearing on a white gesso, just a thin coat, and because I was, I don't know, sorry for the blurriage, focus, auto focus, turn it off. Anyway, uh, I was hoping to get some little background texture, but in the end, it doesn't show up either. So now we're in the spray box because I got this really cool lacy stencil, y'all. It's folk art. Mm -hmm. Description box below. And we're going to use some, um, I think they're Delusion Spray inks, y'all. Uh, and I got some black on me. I'm like, what is that? What am I smearing around? Grease? I haven't worked on any cars today. What's going on? I, I don't I don't know where it is. Where's it? It's, on, it's obviously on me. So there we are, spritzing it around. And that is Palmer Granite. Mm-hmm. That is some rich pomegranate color there. And I'm grabbing a piece of cardstock from over there to lay on and catch all that juice off the top, y'all. You will save all that juice. Yes, you do. Oh, I got it on my finger. Oh, look, it looks like a little dragonfly. I didn't notice it at the time. I noticed it now. I was trying to fill in that little edge there, but it didn't work so well. So now we're just going to lay this on top again and smoosh it around. Look how pretty that is. Don't y'all just love that lacy stencil, y'all? Oh, my. Okay, put that little spray box away. Isn't that pretty? And that's what the pomegranate looks like on white. And then we have the pomegranate on the yellow background. And that totally makes that pomegranate look like a different color. Funny how colors reflect on each other, isn't it? So anyway, now I'm going to stamp out these teacups, <clears throat> coffee cups. <laughs> this stamp and die set is called Tea Time, but these are coffee cups, y'all. Y'all coffee drinkers know these is coffee cups. Now, uh, I think I worked on this project for about an hour in real time, and I got the video down to... Uh, I don't know, under 20 minutes. I don't know how long it is, y'all. How long it is. Uh, uh, yeah, under 20 minutes. So I'm stamping them out because, you know, it's for the card lottery, so I need six. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, that one had a little bobo on it. But I end up saving three of those teacups because I just cut off, you know, above that one. So now we're going to color pencil them. I thought about watercoloring and I thought, nah, don't feel like it. Color pencil. And I just go through and I color them all kind of assembly line style. And I'm like, well, don't nobody want to see me do that. Don't nobody. No. So I'm going to come on in a minute and I'll just color color one whole one and all the rest of them get colored. Colored just like it with the colored pencils. Christmas, y'all. So there we go. My hands look suntanned, don't they? But they're not. I don't know why they look so dark. Must be my weird lighting in my studio. I tell you what. I don't know if I could get any varied light bulbs if I tried harder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lighting issues, age old question. What are we going to put on that one? Let's put this color on that one. And that is a pinkish color. Now, this is going to be a striped cup, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hurry up. I think I get faster in a minute. Maybe tomorrow I'll get faster. We'll see. We'll just zip, 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 zip. And of course, heart has to be red. Could have made it a black heart, but then it wouldn't have worked with the other t coffee cups very well. I almost said tea. <laughs> They're coffee cups, y'all. And, you know, I'm kind of trying to make them all girly and junk, even though guys drink coffee. Guys drink coffee. Girls drink coffee. That's not black. That is a dark green. Just saying. Maybe you'll be able to tell in the photo montage, because there will be a photo montage, but it won't come up till the endish. I decided I'm gonna do all the the handles in a color, coordinating color to go with the cup and the rim too. Cause what the heck? Hey, let's put a little rim around the saucer down here. I don't know, y'all. I just don't know what I'm gonna do sometimes. Because, you know, when I put, put my little die cuts on there, I thought, well, I'm not so sure I like that. But, you know, there it is. That's how it's going to stay, y'all. So I got four tags out of that one background. And as you know, I need six. So uh, from the just the um, the pomegranate and the white cardstock, I, I cut three out of that. So I'll have three and three and then an extra one. I don't know what I want to do with that extra one. All right. It'll be a surprise for everybody, including myself. It might just go in my giveaway stack because I have a stack of giveaway stuff. Now, hey, we're going to use some washi tape, y'all. I like that one. It didn't show up real well, so let's put some of this Jane Davenport. I know that one's a Jane Davenport. That one right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that looks okay, so let's do that. No, I'm not putting any glue down, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Trimming it off from around the edges because we don't want it poking out. Now, mind you, I'm still not sure where I'm going with this. <laughs> Other than I want the coffee cups on the tag, y'all. Looks a little weird. Let's put some over here. Okay. Let's put some more of this one over there. Okay. I have a lot of washi tape for someone who doesn't use it very often. Maybe that's why I have so much, because I don't use it very often. So that there's Liquitex Matte Medium. We're going to put over the whole thing to help hold that washi tape in place, because as you know, it may sometimes want to lift. And speaking of lifting, hey again, y'all, uh, the Dilutions ink will lift. So um, as you can see, it's a little smeary now. And we'll give you a close up next to one of them other ones in just a moment to show you the difference between a non-smeared and a smeared one. So from there on, I'm going to put it on with glue. I don't know that I'll show y'all that much. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm having throat issues. There's a frog there. So um, I still like it. It's mostly going to be covered up. So see, it doesn't matter. Oh my God. Let's ink around them, y'all. I remembered to ink around almost all of them. <laughs> yeah, almost all of them. And it's around the tag, too, y'all. I know this exciting video here. Exciting. Mm -hmm. So we got some foam tape, and I uh, wished I'd have doubled the thickness of the foam tape because it, in the end, it, it's like, well, that just doesn't hardly even do nothing there. So, but it's just a single foam tape. And I don't know the brand of that foam tape, y'all. It's just foam tape. 
So let's do some splatters because I thought my tag looked weird and I thought, well, let's just do some splatters because splatters is always good. Let's go with white so we can, you know, vibrate it up just a little bit because, you know, it's summertime. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Hey, gun, y'all. See, that's how hot it is. Now I've got some shrink plastic scraps. I've actually got a lot of shrink plastic, but these are scraps. And I have stamped a sentiment on there. And it says, um, one moment, please. That's not what it says. It says, learn to pause or nothing worthwhile will catch up to you. And then I add a punchline, which I'm inking around right there. Mm -hmm. To me, it's a punchline, like coffee. <laughs> Pause, or coffee can't catch up to you. <laughs> I know, but coffee makes you hurry up and go, 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 doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to stamp out a sentiment here. And uh, I'm going to try to, to uh, let it dry. Now, this is archival. You can use um, stays on as well. You want something that's going to dry, y'all, on plastic, on non-porous stuff. So we're going to round all the little corners with our little corner rounder. They are not perfect, though. Now we're going to heat it up. I don't know what happened to my other roundings, but I rounded all the corners. So now we're heat gunning it. And I know the heat gun's in the way, y'all, but that's just how it just goes sometimes because it's kind of harder to heat up some of these bigger pieces. And this one rolls over and it ends up getting stuck on itself. Now, sometimes, most of the time, it will unroll itself back out, but sometimes it doesn't. So you got to be, do it gingerly. <coughs> Excuse me some more, y'all. So I'm heating, hitting it with the heat gun there. Heat gun a lot, y'all. Because that one end is, is stuck. Now be careful touching this because it's hot. And not really burning me because I'm scared to touch it because I know it's hot. So I'm going to get scissors. Oh, now it's, you know, once it starts cooling off, it gets hard again and, and it won't unroll. So just heating it some more. See if I can get it unrolled. And I think I'm going to throw a um, acrylic block on there to help flatten that back out. Any day. One day. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get it. That, just, that edge is just refusing to lay back down. So I'm going to have to get it soft. Nice and soft and gooey like. Come on. Let's just smash it down. Just smash it down. It'll be all right. So, and there's one that's finished. Anytime you're working with shrink plastic, if you plan on putting it on a string or a thread or something, you better poke your hoe before you shrink it. That's all I can say. Now, this here is some seam binding. I don't want to color it. I want to leave it white, but I want it all crinkly wrinkly. So I squished it with some, uh, you know, water because I keep distilled water in my spray bottle there. And I'm just, you know, smashing it all around so it'll be all, all crinkly. Now, the backs are not pretty, and this is just done on regular cardstock so I wanted it a little heavier so I just had some scraps that I cut to size and then we're going to glue it on and it's going to be a pocket because inside that is where my uh, card lottery letter goes because you know if you've ever gotten a card lottery you know you get a letter because that's just the way I do it. Mm -hmm. It is somewhat of a promotional letter but hey it's my card lottery. <laughs> See you can't even tell that it's raised up. You really, it's not much, y'all. So, now we're putting on our punchline. Like coffee, y'all. And we've got Baker's Twine over here. And then we're going to have the seam binding. And this is where I'm like, what am I doing? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not going to do this. So, I fiddle around with it. And I'm like, no. So, I just tie it on. Just tie it, tie it on. There's me thinking about it. I probably sped this part up like a million times faster. I got thunk on it for a while. So we're just going to tie a knot. We're going to use some glue to secure that knot. So if anyone that gets this wants to disassemble it, they're going to have to work at it a little bit, get that back off. Cause yeah. So, uh, yeah. Now let's put it through the hole and tie it there. And I'm still like, now what? Now what? Oh, Lord, y'all. Now what? 
Okay, it's seam binding. Cover that mess up with the seam binding. Okay, yeah, that, that's the ticket. So that's what I do. I cover that mess up with the seam binding. Okay. And we're going to tie another, another, another more knots. <laughs> you can never have enough knots, I don't think, y'all. Now let's uh, unravel this so that it looks all weird. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I tell y'all what. <laughs> But I like them. They make me happy, obviously, right? We're going to unravel that one, too. They're cute. I think they're cute. Ta-da! <laughs> I always put some pearls on it. Flat back pearls, y'all, because it needs a little something. And I thought about diamonds. Let's, no, let's put some pearls on it. Because this is coffee time, y'all. And it's fancy. And you're supposed to enjoy and pause and enjoy it. Okay? Coffee, y'all. Unless you drink tea. Then, then it's tea time. <laughs> so just put three little pearls on there. As you know, I like three. Three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I love it. Now I'm going to real quick run through just the uh, the pomegranate on the white card and as you can see I'm just pointing out this I already got the washi on there and we're just going to do the exact same thing y'all because it's just predictable like that. Now my pearls don't always end up in the same spots. Almost probably. Mm -hmm. Don't get no rulers out and measure. Whatever you do. So any hoots um Less than a minute. Must be photo montage. Thanks so much. Oh, I, when everybody wasn't looking, including the video camera, I added some stickles around the edges and the handles. I appreciate each and every one of you, your valuable time, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, and everything about you. I really do. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. And... Happy Arden, y'all!